We often think of artificial intelligence in terms of the automating tasks that any human can do. But at Foresight Institute, we also think that artificial intelligence can and should go beyond the limits of human capability. When you think about the complexity of cancer, the complexity of climate change, what if we can just become radically smarter to solve them? I would say that Foresight is one of the few organizations in the world that has both an optimistic viewpoint about the future and a roadmap for getting there. With Foresight bringing together AI and precision manufacturing, I believe that we're going to be able to use big data and machine learning to get results much faster between institutions and researchers. Foresight's bringing the right people together to advance molecular nanotechnology by seeing where can we apply artificial intelligence to the development of new systems. With the molecules synthesized in our lab, we're trying to move to larger systems that can have applications in, in separations, specifically filtration devices. We're working with developing enzyme-like catalysis. Artificial intelligence has advanced far enough that it can be applied to chemistry, to organic chemistry, to synthesis of new technologies. There's a lot of different applications that we're looking to move forward to with these larger structures because once we build from a small subset, there's a lot of different structures that are available to us and those structures could all perform different functions. And AI seems like the way to design those systems because they're gonna be very complicated. One thing I was looking for coming here was to pick the brains of, of various people who are working on general purpose nanotech and really trying to work toward molecular assemblers. And then I was interested to put my head together with those guys to see how could AI accelerate their work toward building Nano computers, molecular assemblers, and all the all the good stuff we've been waiting for since the 1980s. It's a mix of people that you normally wouldn't interact with on a daily working basis, and that different perspective kind of brings out a different level of conversation. This is a wonderful group of people, and the fact that we're bringing together specialists in artificial intelligence and domain specialists in nanotechnology, what we're coming up with is a synthesis of language. Since action occurs through language, we've got a powerful vehicle for moving this forward.